As we mentioned, pro-independence protesters stormed two more government buildings in Donetsk Saturday. It's believed to be a revenge attack for the clashes in Odessa. CCTV's Rosa Kazan has the latest developments from there. The leadership of the self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic calling on residents of this city in eastern Ukraine to join their so-called self-defense forces. Only we ourselves can defend our land until the moment we receive help. They called this rally to protest the loss of lives. More than 30 people died in the southern port city of Odessa, where groups of Ukrainian nationals clashed Friday with anti-government protesters there, who retreated into a trade union hall building, where a fire erupted minutes later, trapping people inside. Dozens suffocated, some jumped out of windows to their death. The anger here in Donetsk has been fueled by videos like this one, reportedly showing a group of pro-Kiev activists preparing Molotov cocktails. What happened in Odessa, that cannot be excused by anything. I used to adore my Ukraine, but now I hate our government. I just cannot accept this. It's impossible to imagine that something like this could have happened here in our Ukraine. We'll never forgive the Kiev junta for allowing this to happen. Ukraine's interim president, Alexander Turchinov, issued a statement saying that May 2nd was a tragic day for Ukraine and that he signed a decree for two days of mourning. In Donetsk, the protesters seized another government building, this time the regional security services, with no police inside. The conflict continued over the airwaves as well. The Russian TV news channel Russia 24 went off the air once again after reports that Ukrainian forces took back the TV transmission tower that pro-independence activists took over last Sunday. Local self-defense forces rushed to secure the Donetsk television center that, for now, remains in their hands. Rosa Kazan, CCTV, Donetsk.